If you're looking for one of the most affordable axle backs to gain you some style and sound for your 2007 to 2018 JK Wrangler, this Dynamax Super Turbo axle back exhaust will do just the trick. As far as sound level goes, this will come in at a two out of five on the loudness meter with one being completely stock and five being wake the neighbors loud. Now this won't add too much volume, but will definitely transform the sound of your 3.8 liter or 3.7 liter, which will make it a great pick for the JK owner who wants an easy way to get some deeper and more aggressive exhaust tones out of their V6 without it being overbearing. This will also increase your performance with 14 horsepower and 12 pound feet of torque from relieving all of that restriction that you were getting from your factory muffler. Not to mention the dual polished tips will bring a lot more style to the table than the factory one as well. Getting into the construction, this will be made of a durable 409 stainless steel with aluminized steel guards to prevent any corrosion or rusting from the elements. This will also feature their super turbo performance muffler that will integrate flow director channels to again reduce any turbulence or restriction, but also create some deeper tones. And the muffler will also use fiberglass matting technology to reduce any drone and absorb any resonance for a comfortable cab environment. Again, you're also getting two polished angle cut tips on the back for added style, factory style hangers for a factory like fit and all of the clamps that you need to install this, making it very hassle free. When it comes to price, like I said, this will be one of your most affordable options at right around the $275 mark. Now comparing it to others in the category, this will be a little bit quieter when it comes to pure volume. The tubing and the tips may be a little bit smaller and this is going to be made of 409, which is going to save you a little bit of cash. However, I honestly don't think that you're compromising much when it comes to this choice. Now other choices on the page may have a smaller straight through style muffler for a bit more sound, larger tips, or they may be made of a super high quality 304 stainless that will cost you a bit more than 409. Now again, this is built very well, it sounds great, and is going to save you a couple of bucks over the competition, making it a great addition to your JK. Now install is going to be a light two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, but will be pretty straightforward, taking you about two hours to get the job done with some very basic hand tools. Now one of our guys in the shop is going to show you how to get that done step by step. So that's going to wrap it up for me. Let's head over to the shop and get into the install. For this install, you will need a pry bar, impact, 15 millimeter socket, hanger removal tool, and a penetrating lubricant. What's up guys, today we're going to be installing an exhaust on our Wrangler, but before we put our new system on, we're going to send you to watch a short video on how to uninstall your stock system from your Jeep. So our first step is going to be to loosen up our clamp on our axle back piping and our over the axle pipe. So I'm going to use a 15 millimeter deep socket and my impact wrench to do that. What we can do next is remove our exhaust hanger from the isolator here. I'm going to use an exhaust hanger removal tool. You can use a pry bar, but this is a little bit easier and you can find this at your local auto parts store. I would also re recommend to hit it with a penetrating lubricant. I hit it with a little bit of PV blaster to help this slide out of the isolator. Now we can go ahead, move that up and out of the way, and then we can do the same thing for the other side. What we can do now is just wiggle our axle back off of our over the axle pipe. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Now that we've shown you how to uninstall your factory setup, we're gonna go ahead and install our new system here. And our first step is going to be to slide our clamp over our mid pipe tube, just to make sure we don't forget it as we're putting it on. And we're gonna go ahead and install this in our hangers and get our tube slid into our adapter here. Go ahead and slide our tube onto our adapter and then we'll go ahead and get our rubber hangers in place. We'll start with our far one just to get it level. Go ahead and slide your hanger onto your isolator. And you may need to work your tube back in a little farther. Okay, once we've got that side through, we can go ahead and work on our other side. It may be a good idea to go ahead and grab a pry bar to go ahead and move your 
system over enough to get your isolator lined up. Go ahead and once that's in, go ahead and work that through. And once you have your both hangers in place, we'll go ahead and tighten down our clamp. Now we can go ahead and use our 15 millimeter socket on our impact to go ahead and tighten down our clamp. Now we can go ahead and install our tips. And first again, we're gonna slide our clamp onto our tube. And go ahead, slide your clamp on. And you want it flush with the recess inside of your expansion joint. And we'll go ahead and get the other one on. Again, sliding our clamp on first. Go ahead and slide our tip on. And now we can get ready to line these up and tighten them down. So you wanna line the top of your slash cut up directly with the bottom of your rear bumper here. Make sure that's nice and straight. And we'll go ahead and start snugging down our clamp. And you don't wanna tighten it all the way at first so you can make any adjustments that may need to happen as you're tightening. And to tighten these clamps, we're using our 15 millimeter socket on our impact again. We'll get this one pretty snug. And we'll go ahead and snug down our other one. Again, we'll just get it snug so it still moves, but it will stay in place. And we'll go ahead and eyeball the top of our slash cut here, directly facing the bottom of our bumper. And then we'll go ahead and tighten that down once we're happy with it. Okay. We'll do the same thing for the other one. Now you can bring these out a little bit uh, on your tailpipes here if you want your logo to be showing at the end, but just the easiest way for symmetry is to line them up with the bottom of your bumper. And go ahead and make those slash cuts even. Alrighty guys, that about wraps up our review and install of our Dynamax Super Turbo Axleback Exhaust for your 07 to 18 Jeep Wrangler JK. Thanks for watching and as always for everything Wrangler, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.